Thanks for being such a great friend. Love, Regina. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> and welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's video i'm going to show you guys how i edit my videos i get a lot of questions about this and i think i edit my videos pretty standard but i'm just show you guys like my little tips and tricks my little odds and ends when i edit my videos so let's get started for starters i do have this adapter to insert my cables and my usb card so i'm going to plug that in the side of my laptop and i'm going to take this cord along with my external hard drive and just plug that in together and this is how i attach my external hard drive to my laptop now grabbing my memory card i'm going to stick that in the slot right there and now let's get started i hope this is like a good angle for you guys i've never recorded a video like this sorry if it's not just let me know if you guys have like any further questions so then i go into finder and then i go into my external hard drive and i go into the folder fall 2021 this is where i store all my files from fall 2021 and i do use final cut pro to edit my videos next what i'm going to do is download the files that i need today i'm just going to be editing a weekend vlog so i started from here and i go all the way down here and i press the shift button and i click that last clip and I go over here to create new event. And I'm going to say engagement vlog. So when it comes to Final Cut Pro, there are three categories. There are projects, events, and libraries. So Fall 2021 is the library. And within that library, you do store events. And then within those events, you have projects. So just now, I made the event engagement vlog. So what I'm gonna do is highlight it, press file, and I'm going to make a new project within that event. So basically, I'm gonna name it again, engagement vlog. So basically, this timeline right here is going to be my project. So these are the events within the project, if that makes sense to you guys. I suck, I don't have my, my intro saved in a reasonable place. So I just copy and paste it from my other projects and I just go back to where I was, just engagement vlog, and I'll put it here. I didn't even tell you guys how I cut and all that stuff. So what I do, I do the short keys, the shortcuts on my keyboard. So for me to cut, I press Command X. Make sure the clip is highlighted. When it's highlighted in yellow, so you press Command X, that's to cut a clip. Or you can do Command V is to paste a clip. So if you're you copy and paste something, command C is for copy. And the way I break a clip, so I don't want from here to here, I don't want. So this is already a broken clip in the project. So I'm gonna press command B to break that clip. So now it's its own clip, which is highlighted. I'm just gonna delete that. So now I am But she speaking. still sounds like this hacking cough that I don't like. But you don't check that, I don't be about to see what's So it was a more cohesive clip. And that's one thing I admire about editing as well is that if I'm stuttering, if I had like an incomplete thought, I can edit it in a way where like I cut a clip here, cut a clip there, paste it there to just make it look like a full sentence. Or if you guys want to, you can go up here where it says edit and do it from there. You have paste there, cut, copy, and all of that. So what I like to do, I don't like to overwhelm myself. I like to work within each of these files. So what I'll do is go all the way to the bottom because that's where my weekend vlog starts. The most recent date is at the top and the eldest date is at the bottom. So starting at Friday is at the bottom. And what I'll do is click it. This is the vlog right here. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. And I'm going to listen to the vlog. Good morning, guys. I look a hot booty mess. All right, so right here where this dip is, Wherever you guys see these dips, I technically cut them out for the simple fact that... Can you guys see that? Is it? There are little dips right here in the um, audio timeline. That's what I like to call it. So, at least with this first dip, I know that I leave that little, er that little space just so that I can copy and paste my intro. 
So this is what it's like. Good morning, guys. I look a hot booty mess. I'm like, damn, you're so fine, girl. What is your size? So like I was trying to say before, everywhere I have these spaces, I'm not saying anything. It's like awkward pauses. So what I like to do is just cut them out. So like, for instance, I'll cut this one out right here. It is Friday. It is raining. And... So you see how I just said and? Gianna... It's like an awkward pause. Gianna... So what I'll do again is just go right there where that last hump is, that audio frequency, I guess. And then I'll bring it closer so it's more and smooth. And Gianna and I are off to the doctor because my baby girl is sick. <sighs> yeah, this is... Thing and... and again with right hair, another awkward pause. Like I didn't see anything. I deep side, so I take out like all those unnecessary things. To the doctor, cause my baby girl is sick. Yeah, this is, every time I turn around, Gianna's not in school. Again guys, this is my editing style. I don't like awkward pauses. I don't like saying um a million times. So in person, I'll talk to somebody and I'll say um maybe 50 million times. But in my videos, anytime I say um, I do cut it out. Anytime I smack my lips, I try to cut it out as much as I can because it's just very annoying. So I'm just going to let you guys see how this plays out. You're going to see the difference that it's more cohesive than it was when I allowed those awkward pauses in. It is Friday. It is raining. And Gian and I are off to the doctor because my baby girl is sick. Yeah, this is... Every time I turn around, Gianna's not in school. I don't know what's going on with that. But today she has a legitimate reason. She is sick and I want her to get better and not spread it to her friend. So that is pretty much what I do as far as audio and how I try to keep things to a minimum and say as less things. I know I talk a lot, so I'm not really saying too less, but Again, I don't like to have awkward pauses. I don't like to have awkward ums. I don't like to smack my mouth a lot. So that's what I do to cut it out. And I make sure I'm paying attention to these dips right here. All right, so next, now I'm gonna go into this second clip. So it's the same clip, I'm in the car, but it's just a few hours later after I took Gianna to the doctor. So what I'm going to do now is basically put a nice little transition in between that so you know that it's not just one long clip, you know that there's some difference. So what I'm going to do is go into my installed transitions, which is right here. And I wanna do like a dissolved one. Let me see how flow looks. I'm gonna drag it in between here and create the transition. So like I said, right here, there's like an awkward pause. So I'm going to break that and cut that clip. So command B for break, select the clip and delete it. This clip was when I was on my way to the doctor. Hey guys, we are back. And then that's a little transition to state that, you know, I'm back. So I like to do that because if not, then this is what the clip would have looked like. Don't like, we gonna check that. I'm gonna be about to see what's going on with my baby. And I hope it's parking because it's not much parking on Zamba. Hey guys, we are back in the car. You know, it just needs a transition to kind of end this previous clip and start this new one. So I'm gonna put flow back there. And I like flow because literally, like it says, it just flows. Last transition that I showed you guys, I just edited this clip. I took out any ums and unnecessary pauses that I showed you guys before. So this is what the ah, ending of it looks like. Oh, today's just such a bust. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm about to go visit my mom and my doggy. Yeah, let's go do that. So I verbally told you guys that I was transitioning to another place physically. So here's a new clip of when I was doing Gianna's hair. So within this new clip, I'm gonna put another transition. So I'm gonna use this push transition. I actually really like this push transition. Create transition. All right, so I like that. Make it a little bit smaller. All right, so along with that transition, being that it's the same day, but I'm doing a completely different thing, I like to add a little piece of sound effect just so that if somebody's watching my YouTube video and stays on their TV, their phone, or their computer, and they're not like really watching it, but they're listening to it, it's going to make a sound in that transition so that it alerts them to know like, okay, something new is happening, let me look. So I like to put my time up. It just tells you the duration of how long these sound effects are. So I like to keep mine up so I can see like all the one second sound effects. So let me see baseball bat. All right, I like baseball bat. 
and I'm not too fussy with these like I don't have like specific ones that I use I just use whichever I like at the moment pretty much so just going back so we can see how that transition looks and sounds okay and now this clip is of me doing Gianna's hair so what I'm going to do is detach the audio so what I do is double click on this clip right here press detach audio I know for certain I'm not using any of this audio I'm actually gonna add my own music so I'm just going to delete the audio so this clip itself is about 2 minutes and 52 seconds I'm not gonna give you guys 2 minutes and 52 seconds of me just doing Gianna's hair so what I'm also going to do is fast forward this a little bit. I'm going to fast forward it two times. Let me see how that looks. All right, two looks a little too slow. So let me try four. Okay, I think I like four. I also don't want this awkward beginning clip where I put the camera down. So I'm going to cut it right here. Showing me brushing her hair and putting the rubber bands in it. I'm gonna cut that one because I was kind of struggling to get a rubber band. So now it's gonna look like I reached for it, put it in. Okay, so I think that should be enough hair footage. So it's from here, one, two, and three. If I have a different angle, then I'll show that part. Okay, so right here I'm adding some clips to her hair. So I'll cut it like kind of in the middle of where I started putting clips in her hair. And again, I'm just seeing all of this by using my cursor. Like I'll pause the footage from playing by itself and I'll just use my cursor to manually go over to see what I'm doing. Feel like you guys wanted to see me put all 20 clips in her hair so i'll just cut it there so you know what i was doing and then i'll use my cursor i finished i moved gianna's chair so that's like a nice little difference in the clip i moved gianna's chair right there and then i pick up the camera so i'm just gonna put a little before like right where i moved her chair i'm gonna cut that i'm gonna put this clip back in normal motion so you guys can actually see her hairstyle. Okay, so I actually do want the audio from this clip. So what I'm going to do is just go back into my event and I'm gonna put it down here. And what I'm gonna do is find this part, which is at the end. Sometimes what I should be doing is just detaching the audio and putting it at the bottom. And if I don't want it, I can erase what I don't want because now I have to go back and do this, but it's whatever. And then I will try to, okay, perfect. So I matched it up perfectly. Yeah. All right, perfect. So I'll detach this audio and delete this visual frame so it's not double. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. I don't know what to do with this little beep beep in the back. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, perfect. So I like this. So now I'm gonna teach you guys how to get some music. So I do get my music from SoundCloud. So I'm gonna open up my Google Chrome and I go into my likes cause I have like a whole bunch of music that I like and I'm just going to find like a song. Let me see. All right, so I'm just gonna go with Doja Cat, you're right. I'm just gonna copy the link. Then I'm gonna open a new tab and go to SoundCloud to MP3. Go to a converter. I choose any converter that works for me for the day. And then I go to download. And down here it is downloading. Oh, can you guys see that? So right here it is downloading. So what I do is drag this to my Final Cut Pro. I put it there. Then I'm going to cut it just because I want to move it over here. Put it right at the beginning of where I started doing her hair. So this is what it looks like. All right, so where I started talking, I'm going to break that song clip, I guess. 
and now it's underneath where I'm actually talking. So what I'm going to do is highlight the song and I'm going to put it to about maybe negative 18 decibels. So it'll serve as background music while I'm talking so it's not just like an abrupt, the music stopped and now I'm talking. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I don't know what to do with this little beep beep in the back. All right, so that's basically how I add my music. If you guys want more details on how I get music, I can do a video for you guys on that. So just comment down below. But what I'm also going to do, just to be safe, because I feel like you can hear Doja Cat's voice, I'm going to go over here to installed effects. And I'm going to go to an audio effect. I'm going to go into Monster and put it the effect over the music and see how that sounds, because I don't want to get copyrighted. All right, let's see the voice. Oh, I don't know. That sounds okay. So I'm going to highlight the audio again, and I'm going to fix the amount. So I'm just going to put it a little less. It was at 50% or 50. All right. So I'm going to put a little less because it also alters the music and not just the voice. So it sounds a little like weird. But I'm just going to lower it again, just a teensy bit, at 17. Alright, that's not bad. And then I'm going to go to the one that I broke apart from that first one. And I'm going to make sure I do the same thing. And that is how I do my music. If I'm doing music like for another video, like a sit down video and it's background music, I usually add my music after the fact. But because this is a vlog, I usually add my music after I edit the whole video and then when I run through it again, then I'll add the music. But being that this is a vlog, I like to add the music as I'm doing it just so that I can just be done with one part of the day and then go to the next part and edit it like that. I don't like to spend hours editing my videos, if that makes sense. That is it. That is how I get my music, introduce my music, and transition my music into my videos. All right, guys. So I'm basically done. So I, I did all of Friday's clips. So the last thing I showed you guys is when I was doing Gianna's hair, which is here, and adding the music. So after that, I just added some more stuff, which I basically did the same thing. Edit out some audio that I didn't want, cut out some clips that I didn't want. So I didn't think I need to show you guys that because it's pretty basic. So now, one more thing that I want to show you guys is how I add my text. So in Final Cut Pro and as well as iMovie, and I think about every editing software, they have text that you can add. So what I like to do, especially for my vlogs, is I like to go to Basic Title and insert it in the beginning or wherever I want to insert it and I just want to say that this is Friday's clip just so people know like it was Friday I like to play with the font sometimes I just keep it regular but sometimes you know I want to add a little extra so I'm going to add this right here and I'm also going to make the font a little bit bigger I like 112 112 looks pretty decent. So I'm going to blow up the screen just so I can see it. It is Friday. It is okay. raining. And so I like the way that looks. Is... So Friday is right there. And with my days, again, I like to add a nice sound effect, like a let's try balloon pop. The balloon pop sounds a little too aggressive. So I'll do cork. I like bottle cork. Okay, so again, that is just if somebody's just listening to the video, they know, they hear like a little sound effect, and they're like, okay, let me look at the screen, let me see what's happening, let me see what's new. So just to run that back again. Hi. It is Friday, it is... I'm gonna actually put it a little bit further. It is Friday, it is raining. Okay, that's perfect. And... So now I'm going to copy that because I'm going to basically use this basic title for each and every one of my days. So now that I'm finished with Friday's clip, I'm going to add a transition. So you know it's a whole new day. I'm going to use, I like, slide. because It's simple. And I'm going to get another sound effect. I kind of like the zipper sound effect. All right, I like this one, it's kind of short. So I'm gonna use this one, put it here, and now I'm gonna go into my Saturday footage, which is above, 
November 13th, right here. And this is a whole bunch of B-rolls. So I'm basically going to do the same thing. Detach the audio, cut out clips that I don't want, and add my audio, my musical audio. And that'll basically be it for how I edit my YouTube videos because all the rest of the steps are going to be redundant, which I showed you guys. And, you know, I want you guys to see this vlog on your own without seeing everything I just did watching it through here but if you guys have any questions on anything that i've done today make sure you please drop it down below if you have any comments again if you want me to show you guys a thorough video on how i choose my music on youtube from soundcloud i got you on that as well so just comment down below if you want to see that i want to thank you all for tuning in to today's video i love you all and i will see you in the next one bye